Senator Vito Ome said the public hearing followed a motion sponsored on the floor of the Senate about the 250 Nigerians being detained in Ethiopia prisons and were malnourished. The Senate referred the matter to the Committee on Diaspora to investigate. Senator Vito Ome said the committee had to invite the Chairman, Nigeria Diaspora Commission, Mrs. Abiche Dabere Rewa, to explain alongside the killing of a master's degree student in Nassim, Le Chuku Neke, in Philippines, by Chinese nationals working there. Senator Victor Ome said the committee must get to the bottom of the murder to ensure justice is on those who committed the murder. You know, so it is the government of the Philippines that will be in full charge of the matter. And they are the people that will uh, uh, ensure that uh, uh, justice is done. What we are demanding for at this stage is for the Philippine government to uh, prosecute the people who were involved in the murder of this innocent Nigerian. So then uh, the, the people will now know that you cannot toy with other people's lives particularly killing a Nigerian. Any place a Nigerian that is innocent is killed um, uh, outside Nigeria. My committee and the NITCOM will move in, won't tolerate that, except those who run foul of the law. Explaining before the committee, the chairman NITCOM, Mrs. Abiche Dabere Rewa, said her commission has been on top of the matter and that the elder sister of the murdered student, Mrs. Blessing Essien, and leaders of students' unions of Commonwealth Students Association countries' representative, Mr. Owebe Chidubem, and the President National Association of Nigeria Students in Diaspora, Comrade Prince John Oga Esquire, also appeared before the committee to explain how it happened. Mrs. Abiche Dabere Rewa said she wants the Senate to find a way out on how the matter can be addressed. And these are very serious cases. It's about the work. I mean, we need to do something to help the family bring about closure. Mr. Chairman, we still making those demands on you. We look forward to you being able to make this happen. So that is the situation now. The mug is very expensive, but it's been kept there. But the Philippine ambassador is going to be summoned by the minister. We are seeing him too. And we're demanding that this case cannot be swept under the carpet. But in fairness to the Philippine authorities, they are, they are cooperating. So that is the situation as an again Accept our condolence on the death of Emmanuel. But we we'll work with you for closure for the family. And closure is knowing that whoever did this to him is not working about freedom. Cross examining the leaders of the students' unions, they have this to say. What um, the chairman Nikon reported, that was a much we also that's much we also know. And um, um, what we are soliciting for in the petition we rendered to the Senate, we had um, solicited support. You know, aside getting justice for my only brother, we also solicit that the federal government will assist in bringing his remains back. There should be also uh, support you know, on consular services to be immediately available for Nigerian students in diaspora. We've come to raise our voice to say there should be justice for uh, Chuku Bikim. And since then we have been in constant uh, touch with the, the chapter in Philippines, the Nigerian embassy, especially the consular, and uh, they have been doing their best, including the Nigerian community in Sibi, where the state took place. They are the ones that uh, paid for the deposit of his remains in the mortuary. Did some other payments to enable the hospital uh, authorities to accept his body. For Senator Vito Ome said the committee will ensure the Philippines ambassador is invited within one week. Topsy Gimba, Aso Television News.